So much has been happening in the last twenty days. It's very difficult to articulate all of it. It's my wish and my blessing that all of you young people must go on some kind of a vision quest, very important. Namaskaram Sadhguru, firstly thank you for all the help you've been putting out for the world throughout the lockdown. Now my question to you is about Native American culture because you are traveling through America and from what I've heard, you're getting to know about that culture even better. So the question is that could you give three of your own personal favorite uh, anecdotes or learnings from their version of spirituality? You know, something that um, Indian spiritual seekers may not have uh, known or have had access to uh, any three of your own personal favorite spiritual learnings. Namaskaram. Lots of love to you, Sadhguru. Well, Ranveer, uh, I can give you three hundred anecdotes <laughs> because so much has been happening in the last twenty days. It's very difficult to articulate all of it, but we will be slowly unfolding our experiences in various ways. But for a young man like you and uh, for all the friends that you have, I would say uh, before it's too late for any of you, you must get in touch with uh, places of uh, civilizational and energetic significance. There are many in India, many outside the country, and a lot here in North America. Right now we are here at uh, the Zion Park. Look at these rock formations. This is just one that you're seeing in this video, but I'm telling you, I have traveled around the world, I have seen... I have a fascination for terrain, so I have seen every kind of terrain. But never before I have seen rocks shaped like this. This is... Uh, I don't know if the video will capture this as it is, because there are so many intricacies and there are other mountains here which look like they're hand cut. It's simply unbelievable how and what could have shaped this. Well, there are geological explanations, but still the only thing that this kind of terrain and the land, if you pay enough attention, can do is leave you confounded. No matter how much you think you know, <laughs> You don't know what one single rock here knows, actually, because these rocks got shaped like this over 120 million years ago. So, what they've imbibed, how they've taken form, how they're here, and how they will be here beyond you and me is very significant and it's something that everybody must experience. Not necessarily looking for stories, or making up stories, it's important to just feel them the way they are. Because in many ways, the land that we walk upon is alive. Very few people experience this. Most people think they can just use it whichever way they want and that's about it. But it's alive if you're alive. If you're fully alive in every possible way, you will see everything around you is alive. Even the so-called inanimate reverberates a certain amount of fundamental life. If you're open to it, you will be always charged, you will be always fired up, you will be never short of energy, you will be never short of life because everything here exudes life. The question is only, will you imbibe it or not? 
all the young people, please inspire them to go out, spend some time in the terrain, somewhere, by themselves. In the Native American culture, there is a certain process. When young people come to sixteen, seventeen, eighteen years of age, they go on a four-day vision quest. Four days, no food, no water. They're alone by themselves on a mountain, trying to grasp life from the rocks, from the trees, from the land, not from the food and water through which we sustain ourselves every day. Four days, no water, no food, in quest, in search of a vision to be able to see. People think vision means coming up with some story. No, vision means to see. To see better than the way we are seeing right now, this is vision. So to come to a higher level of perception, that is the most important thing. And I'm seeing that here, that this culture had invested much in that direction. Unfortunately, not much is left, but still they're trying to revive right now. It's my wish and my blessing that all of you young people must go on some kind of a vision quest, very important. <laughs>